Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Sophie and well, this is my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine for you all just because I've really been loving watching these videos recently as the past couple of months I've really been trying to take better care of my, of my skin as I think in previous years I haven't really looked after it as well as I should causing me to have more breakouts and drier skin in the winter um, so yeah I thought I'll just share with you guys what I've been using and I have noticed a big difference in my skin um, since using these it's only been a couple of months and I'm still getting spots you know everyone gets spots sometimes like the time of the month and stuff you can't help it you're gonna get more spots then but I have however noticed a big difference so I'm just going to share with you guys what I've been using and how often I've been using it so yeah okay so the first product I want to talk to you guys about is the simple micella water I know a lot of people use the Garnier one I can't really compare it as this is the first micellar water I've tried and I just kind of picked this up when I, um, when I was out shopping. I was going to purchase more makeup wipes as that's what I used to use but I purchased this instead because it caught my eye and I'm definitely glad I did as I think this is a lot better than makeup wipes. Basically I use this every night to remove my makeup so I just tie my hair up and I'll put this micellar water on every night and then any mornings which I don't use my facial scrub which I'll talk to you guys about in a minute um, I use this instead um, just because I don't use my facial scrub every day because it's not recommended to use it every day um, but when I do use my facial scrub I don't feel the need to put this on as well the second product I want to talk to you about is the Simple Kind of Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser. Now this is a product I've actually used for years. I've always used Simple Moisturiser, except I rarely ever used it in the past and that was so bad. And that's probably why I formed quite a collection of these where I've got loads of these in gift sets for Christmas and birthdays and I used to never really use them. Um, but this year I've started using it. A lot regularly as I did in October start noticing that I had a really flaky nose and forehead and eyebrows and it was terrible due to the, the weather being colder and I was like this is terrible so I used the moisturizer and I can't believe I really ever used to use it and I just let it sit there because it's so important to moisturize your skin so basically what I do is after I've cleaned my face whether it's been with my micellar water or my facial scrub or after I've used a face mask um, I just put this on afterwards so that's once in the morning and once in the night you only need a little bit I just put it on my fingers and just rub it in the third product I have been using is the Santa Eve's blemish control apricot scrub now I did actually mention this in my last video and it has become a part of my skincare routine. It says to use this product three to four times a week. So basically what I do is I use this once every other day and I put this on in the morning after I've had a shower. So I just put a little bit of this on my fingers and then I just rub it in all over my face and I just keep on rubbing until I basically look like I'm wearing some sort of face mask just a light white face mask it's all over my face and then I'll just rinse it off this has definitely had a great effect on my skin um, it says it helps with blemishes, minimising pores and preventing spots and I have noticed a big difference in the amount of spots and blackheads that I've had since I've been using this. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone. The fourth product I've been using is this L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Mask. I'm not going to give um, an opinion or a review on this just because I've only just started using this. I know I've said it's in my skincare routine. It is as of now. Um... So I don't feel like I can give an honest opinion about it yet because I'm still seeing how it works and I haven't used it long enough to see if it makes a big difference. But I thought it would be a good idea to um, 
add a face mask into my skin care routine which is why I recently went out and bought this and it's meant to like get into your pores and really get out all your impurities and stuff so that's why I thought it'd be good and I'm I really like face masks but I never really buy them very often and I was like no I just need to get one in my skincare routine basically all I will say is that I have noticed when I've put it on I can see my pores more um, like I can see them it's like they sh like on my nose and my chin and my forehead all these like little like dots basically show up um, and I think that's where it's like getting into the pores I'm assuming I can see them um, but obviously after I wipe it off my skin just goes back to normal it's just I can see that this is in the pores so I, I assume that means that it's doing something it says on the packaging to use this two to three times a week so I use this two times a week in the evening after I've cleaned my face with micellar water so basically I just rub this into my face I would have already had my hair tied up from where I've cleaned my face with my micellar water so um, yeah it's pretty self explanatory I just rub this into my face and I wait five to ten minutes for it to dry and then I just rinse it off with some warm water and a flannel so the fifth product I've been using is a body butter and the one I'm currently using is the soap and glory sugar crush body butter but yeah basically um, when I ran out of this I probably won't go buy another one just because I've got loads of body butters that I've got as Christmas gifts that I need to use up um, so I'll probably just move on to the next one um, but this is a scent that I really like so if I was to go out and purchase a body butter personally this is the one that I would pick up unless I find something that I prefer when I'm trying out my other body butters I've got to use up from Christmas but at the moment this is the one I would pick up um, because I just love the scent of Sugar Crush if you've never smelled Soap and Glory's Sugar Crush line you know next time you're in Boots just pick up anything from their Sugar Crush line and just smell it it's just oh, it's so sweet and it's like limey and it's just it's amazing so I basically just put this on my legs every night before I go to bed and just you know rub it in pretty self-explanatory um, because I've just been having a really bad dry leg problem recently and when I say recently I mean quite a long time um, I mean since the summer since about June basically since I went to Peru and I made the big mistake of not taking any moisturizer with me when I went to Peru and my legs got so dry to the point they were cracking and like bleeding that's how bad it was the sixth product I use, I've also mentioned before in my last video, is this Garnier Intensive 7 Days Restoring Hand Cream. And who oh, does it make a difference? It's for dry and trapped hands. And like I think I may have mentioned before, in the winter months, if I don't put hand cream on, you know, the cold weather really affects my hands. And kind of like what I got on my legs in Peru that's what I get on my hands if I don't look after my hands I get really chapped skin so I always use this I put it on every night before I go to bed and it makes a big 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 difference and yeah I just rub that in and then I go to sleep okay so this is it for this video I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I hoped it was helpful for you all um, please do let me know if it was down in the comment section down below or if you use any of these products as well or if there are any products that you think are better than the ones I've shown so you know I can go out and try them just have a nice little chat in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well and I will see you all in the next video in London hopefully it should be in London bye